Welcome to the world of probiotic foods. This is Cultured Food Life with your host, Donna Schwenk. Thanks for joining me. We are um, excited to have Bo Berman today, and he is um, somebody that contacted me after my Joel Green podcast, and he is um, one of the founders of Layer Origin Nutrition, which is a New York-based company in New York that was founded by Jason Yang, Bo Berman, and Joel Lee. And the whole story goes behind this is that they met in a Cornell University lab in 2017. And while working on his postdoc, I guess Jason was working on his postdoc, and he saw the wealth of information and research about HMOs and how it built the infant gut lining and immune system from scratch. And he also noticed how studies were starting to show similar health benefits for adults, yet there was no HMO supplement for adults on the market. And that's when he decided to launch Layer Origin Nutrition, which has led me to Bo and having him online because I actually, without knowing Bo, tried this, his actual HMO supplement, absolutely loved it. It was life-changing for me. And so he heard my podcast with Joel Green. And if you're looking for that podcast, it's the one, two before this one, um, which is a powerful podcast. So I would love it if you'd listen, but he contacted me and I was so excited because I actually had taken his product. So it's something I really like. And, and hopefully I'm going to be uh, selling that too on my site so more people can get the benefits because I think it's really, really, really important. Um, and one of the things that I found is um, in, in Joel Green's book, it's called The Immunity Code, he talked about taking these HMO powders to help rebuild um, your gut. And most specifically, he talks about building bifidobacteria, which is one of the first bacteria you get when you're born and colonizes the tract. I think it's in three to five days in the baby. You get it from your mother's milk. And uh, it's one of the bacteria that keeps you young, keeps your weight under control, uh, gives you that youthfulness energy. And I thought, well, I'm going to try this. I didn't really, wasn't sure I believed it. And I was astounded at what happened to me. So I wanted to share that with my uh, people that follow me because I'm always looking for ways to help them. Something that's easy, something that's accessible and something I just couldn't believe the amount of energy I got and how much better I felt. And I feel pretty good on a normal basis anyway, <laughs> but I um, was really surprised. And it continues to be something that, um, you know, I, I integrate because I feed that bifidobacteria that I've developed with, with the help of the HMO powders. And uh, it's, it's an oleosaccharide. And I want Bo to explain more about it. Can you explain more about exactly what um, this powder does and what it is and how it works? Yeah, sure, Donna. And thanks for those, you know, kind of glowing uh, words. I, I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, Joel Green is uh, an amazing guy. And, you know, we've obviously had some contact with him. I mean, he has no affiliation with our company specifically, but, uh, you know, he's certainly an inspiration. And, uh, you know, we we love that he's spreading the word about HMO. And certainly a, he's a wealth of, of amazing knowledge. And obviously yes. I've read his book uh, a couple of times now. Say, something I wanted to say, too, is he didn't tell me about in his book. He doesn't talk about you. I had to go find you on my own. So this is not like a big collaboration between the three of us. Actually, he just said, get some HMO power. He didn't tell you where to get it. And I, I went and looked for it. And this, you were the one I found. So there were two Great. I found yeah. and I picked you. So that's interesting. So yeah. Ahead, thank sorry. you. Um, yeah, no, it is fascinating. And, and it's one of the great things about Joel Green is he, he really shies away from, you know, engaging in any sort of like paid promotions. And I think that helps to elevate his, you know, credibility and trust level with the people yeah. he's communicating to, but, uh, to answer your question. So, um, you know, what are HMOs, um, human milk, oligosaccharides is, uh, how I pronounce it. And, um, you know, I mean, basically at the core, you know, again, I, I can't speak as eloquently as Joel Green on this. Um, but what I can say is that, you know, they're, they're something that's naturally found in, in human breast milk. And, you know, scientists and pediatricians started looking at this in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And, you know, basically we're trying to determine what, why is it that uh, there's such a disparity in, you know, infant mortality rates between babies that are being breastfed and babies that are not being breastfed. And, you know, so they were looking at, okay, is it, is it the, you know, what's in breast milk? So there's, there's protein. Um, maybe that's it. You know, there, there's fats, there's lipids, uh, which are fats. There's uh, the lactose. 
And what they eventually determined was the key differentiator was this other substance, which hadn't really been investigated, which were basically milk sugars, you know, a, a complex sugar molecule in milk uh, called, you know, which at that time didn't have a name. And, you know, as time went on over the next decades, they realized they basically discovered there were at least a hundred different varieties of these milk sugars, you know, so one of them being called uh, 2-FL or 2-Fucosalactose, they all have these different names, um, you know, and there's fucosylated HMOs and silated HMOs, these different varieties, but basically, you know, up to 200 of them exist, but there's one that's most abundant and that's 2-FL. And uh, so I think at the, at the earliest stages, they, they actually called it, uh, they had to come up with a name for these newly discovered milk sugars and they called them uh, bifidus factor, um, alluding to, you know, bifidobacteria, which you just talked about. Um, and then, you know, I think it was the 1950s or 40s, they actually changed the name to gynolactose. And I may have that reversed, you know, the bifidus factor, gynolactose name. But, um, you know, and then it wasn't until much later that they coined the term HMO or human milk oligosaccharide. And so, yeah, I mean, you know, basically 100 years of experimentation went on to test you know, how these HMOs were modulating and colonizing the infant's gut bacteria and therefore influencing and building the immune system, cognitive function in conjunction with the vagus nerve and that, you know, dual pathway there. And then it wasn't until, you know, the 80s, 90s, or early 2000s, all the way up to like 2010, even 2015, that you get into this research of like, okay, you know, this is a hugely beneficial part of breast milk, Imagine if we could give this to people all over the world, how much could this help health outcomes? But the key point was that like, you, you can't distribute human breast milk at scale. You know, there's privacy issues. I mean, it's just, you know, it's impossible. Right. And so they thought scientists were thinking, what if there was a way to essentially replicate it, you know, to come up with something that would be identical from a molecular level. And so that was a huge and lofty goal that, you know, they had that seemed almost impossible but, you know, fast forward to about 2015, 2017, and they had succeeded. And so it started popping up in baby formulas all over the world. And, yeah. you know, people who were on the forefront of like biohacking and researching this stuff started to hear about it. And so they started drinking baby formula because they knew it had this uh, human identical, you know, um, uh, oligosaccharide in it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's really interesting because when you're born, you're mostly a phytobacteria, which after three to five days, I think it colonizes with this particular oleosaccharide. And I said in three to five days, you're 95% of that phytobacteria, which is the bacteria that keeps you young. And, and, and as you get older, it gets down to like 5%, which is you start aging, you start having problems, you start feeling tired. And, um, you know, at first I was like, I'm going to try this just because I, I love Joel's things that he talks about how he wants to show you the power of food. And so I did a couple of his protocols, the daisy cutter and the two day core thing. And I took the HMOs for like, um, I think it was like a month. And I took, um, he also recommends taking apple peels, eating apple peels, cause it helps to feed echinacea in the gut that helps the gut lining. And uh, I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get over it. I, I did feel younger. I felt, I was building a, I told Joe on in my podcast, I was building a, taking those little 12 by 12 pavers and building a, a sidewalk by my only one. And I took like, I got a hundred pavers, went out and my husband was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I take it and I got to the Home Depot, got them all one by one. And they took them in wheelbarrows by down to my pool. Cause it's, we have, it's a little ways to get down to our pool because we have it down um, on the different part of our, our backyard. And, and it took me quite a while, but I had so much energy. I didn't know what to do with myself. I just, and I remember I started and we have a, a long driveway and it's a ways to get to our mailbox. So I started running to the, the mailbox as fast as I could. And, and I started noticing that my kids started to change when they were taking the, I noticed that they, um, you know, and one of the things he said in his book is that a lot of the problems with allergies, food allergies is that you're missing essential bacteria. And when you put those bacteria in, uh, it really does. And I've seen that in my line of work. I've had thousands of people tell me that um, they were allergic to foods. And once they started adding in those essential, because I teach people about probiotic foods, fermented foods, um, their food allergies went away. My daughter was one of them. That's what started it. But I noticed with the HMO powder that my kids started craving 
more milk. I was cracking me up. And I was like, well, he goes, I don't know what's wrong with me. And my son was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've never done this in my life. And honestly, <laughs> uh, we, we have a, I don't know if you're familiar with kefir, which is a fermented drink um, that is more powerful than yogurt. It's got like 50 plus bacteria in it. And uh, I just, I was doing it for lunch and dinner. I was craving it and I was getting more and more energy. And I really credit it to taking, um, just really rechanging my, my gut bacteria and adding more bifido because as you age, it does decline and it gets really low. And if you want to stay young and you want to stay energetic, I really recommend um, helping to build bifido. Now, bifido, after you've got those oleosaccharides and you're taking them, you want to feed that gut bacteria with berries. And there's certain things that feeds bifido. And he talks about that in his book. And I talk about it on my website too. And uh, I just think it's, it's just something that could really help people, especially with immunity. Um, mm -hmm. In this day and age, people aren't talking about your immune system is one of your most powerful weapons against disease. And it is smart, your, your immune system. But if your immune system isn't up to snuff, then it can't do what it's meant to do. Fight pathogens and viruses and colds and flus. And it can't do that if it doesn't have the strength. And I believe... Um, bacteria helps you to do that because it makes you create more of those um, immune system key components that help fight um, off all these types of things that we're struggling with in this day and age. And I believe that the HMO powders do that in a very effective way, help build up that bacteria. Yeah, you're completely right. I mean, I used to be someone who, you know, when it came to the immune system, you know, I would maybe take some vitamin C, try to drink more water, you know, maybe right. zinc, wasn't sure if that worked or not. Um, you know, maybe a bowl of warm chicken soup if I had a cold, which, you know, that stuff's all fine. But, um, you know, it was really eye opening, I think, for a lot of people when you realize that, like, you can actually modulate and change, you know, your your body, you know, through this gut through the gut bacteria. And it's a lot, it has to be more strategic, as Joel says, than just kind of blindly taking, yes. you know, a random probiotic. And, you know, so I love the way you do it through, you know, cultured foods. And, you know, and then from our standpoint, you know, we're really trying to specifically target, you know, bifidobacteria, as you said, and acromantia, mucinophila, and, you know, lead to the production of butyrate. And um, yes. the research is there. And so, you know, we just feel really great about um, trying, trying to just spread the word at this point. I mean, that's the biggest challenge because it's still pretty like esoteric, you know, people don't really know about this. And, you know, we really think it's going to be kind of the next you know, yes. term like probiotics, you know, which 15 years ago, 20 years ago, people weren't really talking much about probiotics. And now, you know, you go to any Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid in the country and they're on the shelves. And right. so we foresee that with, uh, you know, certainly prebiotics in general, and then also with uh, HMO. Well, and I wrote a whole article on butyrate and how important that is for your health and, and nothing accomplishes that better. You know, the body wants those short chain fatty acids. It helps the immune system, it helps everything. It helps a million things. That's why I wrote a big article on it. But um, one of the things that you need is these, these special bacteria that help promote that in your body that keep you healthy and that keep your immune system running strong. And um, one of the things I noticed on your website and one of the things that Joel recommended was taking apple peels, but you have apple peel powder. And I actually got apple peel powder. It wasn't yours, but I got a different one. And uh, there's a lot of... Uh, studies and there's a lot of information about how that also helps feed um, the gut and repair the gut lining and uh, a boost your immune system. And I was excited to see that you sell that because I, I put that in my keeper smoothies in the morning and uh, I have to get try yours because I really think that's important too. It's crazy. It's one of the, he said it's one of the only things that really feeds um, that specific bacteria. I think it's is it acronacia? Is that what he said? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah. Yeah. The acromancia. Acromancia. Yeah. That's what it is. And um, it really feeds that apple peel really works. I thought it was crazy at first, but it is a really powerful um, thing to add to your diet. And it's just, here's the thing I like. It's just food. I like that. I love that. It's just food. Yeah. And um, I, I'm not hugely into supplements because you never know where they're going to open up in the body. Whereas food, culture foods, like they have a protective halo around them that speaks to the parts of the body where it's needed. So the more that you can do food and, and, and there really isn't any other way to get HMOs um, and, and unless you put in a powder form, but is I open my capsules up and put it in my smoothies. Mm. So that's what, cause I have a key for smoothie every morning. So, and I usually put frozen blueberries in it or something. And I put that in there and it worked really, really well for me. 
So um, I think HMOs is going to be the next big thing. Um, and not just because, you know, it's popular, because I don't usually jump on popular bandwagons, but just mm -hmm. what happened to me and my family. I was yeah. shocked. Yeah, I haven't no. had that kind of a um, profound impact because I'm really healthy. I do, I do really good all the time. I don't get sick. I do really well. But I haven't had that much increase in energy. And I don't know how long. That was incredible. And I had quite a bit of energy. I run circles around people who are younger than me. <laughs> when I got that, my, my husband was like, what? This is so love. What are you doing? Because I, I was like, <laughs> I was up at night and then I would sleep really hard, but I, would, I started needing less sleep. I noticed that too. Yeah. And I don't, I noticed because I had more energy, you know, I, um, I was just crazy. I was one night, this is so funny. Last week, I like to do planks and I like to do like one minute planks and I try to do them every day. And it was 11 o'clock at night and I hadn't done it. So I, I jumped out of bed and I thought, I'm just going to do it real quick. And I had my, I had, I thought I'll watch a YouTube video for one minute while I do this plank. And my kids were still up and they walked by my bedroom and they were like, my mom do it was like it looked like a Halloween because my face was all lit up. I was <laughs> on the floor and they're like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and I was like, "I don't want to go to bed without without doing a plank." And it's funny because I wouldn't have done that. I just started noticing that I wanted to do. Here's the thing. Here's how you know when everything's getting better. You want to exercise. You want to do. Yeah, this. You so want to true. do extra things because you feel so good. It's true. When you feel so good, your body lets you know. That's one of the keys that your body's your best teacher, and it will let you know when you are on the right track. Mm -hmm. And so there aren't too many things that have done what this did. I was really surprised, um, but I I don't want to not feel this way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it's been about oh three, four, five months, and I still feel so much. I mean, I feel so good. So oh, that's anyway. incredible. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. I mean, and like you said, I mean, it's what, what I love about this too, is that, um, you know, like even just the apple peels are so powerful, you know, in terms of just trying to reset your gut bacteria. And, and I like that, you know, people don't even necessarily have to buy our supplements. You know, I mean, they yeah. can just start with foods and kind of following your protocols and adding in apple peels and, and even some of the, like a red polyphenol powder or just that. berries. I mean, if you don't want to buy a powder, just buy the berries, you know, and, and do it that way. But, um, you know, if you're someone who's looking for convenience and things of that nature, then the HMO powder that we have, or, or even now our apple peel powder, which is brand new are, are great solutions if you're pressed on time and, and things of that nature. But, um, no, yeah, you're right. I mean, the power of food is amazing. And I, similar to you, after I read the immunity code, I mean, obviously I already knew about HMOs from, you know, being part of an HMO company, but uh, I did, I did want to try, I wanted to immediately try the, uh, the daisy cutter protocol. Oh my God, you know, brutal. <laughs> Because he basically I said, I couldn't do it past three days. Oh, you beat you rough. beat me. I I did it for twenty four hours. Um, oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, it's I I really did it. You know, I mean, I had like the ten egg whites for breakfast, and I had an entire half plate of raw green, green beans, beans, and mm -hmm. did that again for dinner and for lunch. I had the huge salad with all yep. the raw vegetables, and yep. I mean, my goodness, you know, or sorry, actually, that was yeah, that was the daisy cutter, right? And then I'm, yeah. I was thinking of the. Um, that one, I felt really good. You know, my, my wife did it with me and she was like really hesitant, but she did it. And she, I mean, she actually lost some weight, like just from doing that. And I don't know if that's water weight or what have you, but she also, you know, was more energetic and, and just felt really good. Um, the other one I did, which I don't know if he has a name for it was like the, the, uh, the one where you have the bananas and grapefruit. Yes, I did that too. <laughs> and that was incredible. I mean, he warned, he was like, you may end up being, you may have to, uh, you may feel like you have to stay up all night. I did. It gives you an incredible amount of B vitamins. It was insane. I mean, I thought he was kidding, you know, or exaggerating. I couldn't fall asleep that night. It, was, it must've been so much uh, B vitamin production. Like he says. I started watching a series at 11. I couldn't sleep. And I thought I couldn't read. I was trying to read. And then I was like, I'm just going to get up. I can't sleep. He wasn't kidding. I didn't believe him. And Neither then did I'm, I. Up, I'm up at, 1 30 and i'm still wide awake do you know what i'm saying it was the b vitamin and i have a grapefruit tree so it was easy for me to do so I oh was nice like, yeah and it was i just i love the fact that he has these little things that you do and hmos are one of the first things in his book that he tells you to do with the red phenol powder and i love that because you notice it right away that you notice the the change right away that's what was so exciting to me you don't have to wait and you know be on this strict thing. I mean, you don't have to do it forever. Um, but it, it does profoundly impact you. 
And, and that shows you the power of food and the power of your body to rechange or change over a lot of your gut microbiome in a very quick way. It does yeah. it very fast. Oh, absolutely. A hundred percent. And I think that's uh, something, I mean, something I really like about our products because that way, you know, people kind of know pretty quickly, even within the right. first week, um, you know, and so many supplements out there, like you take it and you really don't know if it's like having efficacy, you like you're, that. yeah. I mean, you're just like, you're kind of thinking like, oh, I, I guess I'm being healthier, you know, by taking this collagen or this, you know, whatever. And I mean, you know, maybe you are, but, um, you just don't know. You're kind of just guessing and, and wondering if, you know, maybe internally it's helping you, but yeah, I mean, with HMO, I mean, you're going to feel, most people feel the energy for me, like the biggest difference when I, the first time I ever actually, you know, took it myself was, um, really with, and, and I'm someone who kind of, you know, for whatever reason, I don't really like talking about like bathroom related stuff, but yeah, you right. know, I kind of have to with this and, um, you know, really with like, um, like stool consistency, you know, and there's this thing called the, the Bristol stool chart, you know, basically ranking, uh, on a scale of like one to seven, you know, basically the consistency of, of your stools, you know, which are a big marker of your health, honestly, right. and your gut bacteria. And I mean, you know, a seven is like, you know, basically like diarrhea, basically like liquid stools. And, and a one is like hard, you know, hard to get out stools. And you want to be at like a 3.5 or a four, I believe. And, right. you know, I mean, within a few days, I mean, you, you got, you get to a four and it's incredible. Right. And, and it's just like, what a marker of your health, you know, that's very tangible. I think, you know, um, so it, it really kind of lets you know as a signaling mechanism, like, wow, I'm, yeah, I'm doing something in the right direction. You know. I love yeah. that. I love that your body lets you know. Um, sometimes things don't, but this particular, I'm a big fan of prebiotics um, in that you feed your body lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of fibers that your body, that your um, gut microbiome is going to use for food. And one of the things that I love is that, you know, a lot of the raw foods, um, the, the, there aren't as many calories in them because the gut microbiome uses them as fuel for them. So, um, it, it works really profoundly. And since I, I'm a big fan of, you know, the terrain is everything, do you know what I'm saying? You're what you feeding your gut microbiome is going to make all the difference in the world. And here's the thing, you do start to crave the foods that make you healthy. When you change over your gut microbiome, you really don't want those other foods and your gut bacteria shifts based on what you're eating and it does it at every meal. So if you're doing like, for instance, his daisy cutter with the raw green beans and the egg whites and everything, the next, uh, I think after I got off of it, after the three days, I didn't want anything that was, you know, that I used some of the stuff that I would eat before that I kind of crave, I quit craving it. It was gone. It didn't, I was craving crazy, you know, salads and stuff like that. I really was. And that happens a lot based on what you're eating and people don't understand that. And if they did, it could change everything for them because then it's not a struggle to eat good. Do you know what I mean? And that's yeah. one of the things that if people could understand and that would build their immune system, they don't know the power of their bodies, but here's the thing. Most people don't know what it's like to feel really good. Yeah. They don't understand what they're, what they're missing. You know, before I, before I really changed my gut and bowel culture foods, I was sitting on the couch, just watching TV and just, exhausted and felt horrible all the time. And I was like, I don't want to live this way. And when I changed, I, I changed so profoundly. We had so much energy and I felt so good. I never wanted to go back. And uh, the next thing I knew I was starting a website and I wrote three books and got picked up by a publisher. And I was like, what is happening? And I had no plans of doing any of that. Wow. And so I felt so good. I couldn't stop myself. It was yeah. like, I felt so good. My whole life changed. What a and journey. I just don't think people know what it's like to feel good. Yeah, I don't think they know the power of how good they can feel. Do you know what I'm saying? And if they did, it's not my fault if they wind up starting a website. Okay. If they start feeling better. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? That's what happens. You want to help other people because you're giving out of your abundance. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like when you have, when you find a discovery, whether it's an HMO or culture foods or whatever it is, you want to share it. That makes the world a better place because people start to feel better. And when right. people start to feel better, everybody's nicer, you know? True. So it just, it happens because you, you just generate that. And so, you know, I'm not a big, let's jump on this bandwagon. I just don't do that. I mean, this is the first time I've done it in a long time. I really want to help people because they've, they've forgotten what wellness is. Yeah. You know, they're so scared sure. right now too, you know, with, 
right. virus and everything, they're worried about it. And yep. if they could feel good about their bodies and, and feed their bodies like their friend, it could change everything in their life. And it's it has very true. Be- very true. And there's so many people that, you know, struggle with lack of energy or, you know, they're constantly getting a small cold or, right. you know, kind of that like post nasal drip and, you know, just sinus issues and like, um, yeah, I mean, just so many applications or, you know, they kind of deal with like a brain fog every day and right. can't focus. And, um, you know, what's great about HMO, like you alluded to is that it's not just kind of a band-aid thing, you know, it's really the opposite of like, you know, taking like, for example, like, I, you know, there's people who are like almost addicted, I think, to taking ibuprofen for pain yeah, and, and so hard on you. it's horrible for your stomach and, and it's really just masking, you know, it's, it's kind of addressing the symptom, but not the problem. And so just to be clear, I mean, HMO is, is not a pain reliever, but just, I'm saying that, you know, it kind of operates in a different way, you know, which scientifically, I mean, it's, it's actually acting as a decoy, like you mentioned, and, and, you know, carrying away certain pathogens because they, they like to attach to it and, um, you know, uh, blocking, you know, basically protecting your gut lining. And, and so, you know, that's powerful stuff and, and not something to be taken lightly. So I just love that it like on a core level, you know, it's, it's not even an indirect effect. It's very direct. And, uh, that makes me feel good about taking it because it's not just, you know, masking or uh, blocking a symptom. It's, it's really creating wholesale change. Yeah. And that's really important for people to understand is that it's, it's a whole, I mean, if they actually knew what it was going on inside their body, they're a hundred trillion bacteria. I mean, that's ridiculous amount. That's hard to even fathom. Right. And they're doing things all day long. And when you have the right ones in your gut, and you're feeding them and you're taking care of them, you feel it, you know that it's, I am not afraid of sickness and disease. I know how to take care of myself because this is the age of, you know, information. Everybody can get any kind of information. There's a lot of information out there. Um, But if you really tap into how you feel, what's going on in your body, you know, working with your immune system to give it the things you need, you'll feel the results. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, take this, it's gonna do this because you don't really know what's going on. But when you feel the difference, that's that's the key. Then you you want to keep doing whatever you're doing because you can feel that it's making a change in your body. And then that leads to more knowledge and more knowledge and more understanding. And um, I, I'm really excited about this just because I just want everybody to feel good again. And I want yeah. them to I want them to connect to their bodies in a way to understand that they have the power to change their lives in, from the inside out. Because outside, you can't control anything that's going on outside of you, but you can right. control what you put in your mouth. And you True. can't control what you think about and what you learn. And mm-hmm. I think this is a great place to start. So, I mean, it sounds like I'm just doing this huge promotion for Joel and for this, but it's been so life-changing for me. I just hope it will help other people because um, it has made all the difference in the world. So um, I'm not even selling the product yet. I do want to get some of his stuff, but I'm just <laughs> doing it because I really believe in it. And uh, it's had a profound change on me. So anyway, I really appreciate you coming on. Um, I hope you do really well. Um, and I hope that uh, people learn more and more. And I do think it's coming. I can feel it. I can feel I kind of get on the leading edge of things a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I can feel it's just nice. It's a refreshing change from everything else. Yeah. You know what I mean, so we've demonized so many foods and t- taking out food groups and putting in food groups. I mean, it's just, I've lived long enough now that I've seen stuff come and go. So I know a a fad when I see it, but this is at the base of where we start as humans. Mm -hmm. We get oleosaccharides from our mothers. Yeah. This builds one of the most powerful bacteria. And one of the things that Joel said was when you have enough bifidobacteria, it feeds every other bacteria, which I thought was pretty powerful statement. So um, I thought that was interesting. So you want to build that up. Yeah. 100%. Yep. I really appreciate you coming on. I hope you guys do really well. And, Thank you. Uh, and- yeah, you're welcome for sure. And uh, yeah, no, I really appreciate you saying all, you know, that's uh, certainly like a glowing review. And, you know, obviously we uh, don't, you know, haven't really, you know, met or anything like that before this, but yeah. uh, definitely, you know, definitely a fan of, of what you're doing and have been doing for quite a while. And your story is really incredible. I mean, like you said, you know, from kind of low energy to, you know, figuring some things out and then just this journey you've taken is uh, really remarkable and, and impressive. And uh, yeah, kudos for, you know, kind of, uh, you know, being on the front leading edge of a lot of these things and picking up on them and really having that good, um, it seems like you have a good uh, sense for detection of, you know, kind of what is fluff and what is real. And so obviously we're biased, but, you know, I think you're on the, on the right track with uh, HMO here. And um, yeah, I mean, we were producing HMO before we had ever heard of Joel Green. 
but we had kind of just started producing it um, in early 2020, really as the pandemic was uh, starting uh, at right. that point. And then he comes out with this uh, bombshell podcast, you know, on the Ben Greenfield and show. That's where I heard him. Yeah. I yeah. Know. Yeah. And, you know, I think like so many of our customers kind of came out of that um, because, you know, it was selling initially, but not that much. And so only like a few people really on the forefront of, you know, biohacking and research, you know, kind of, uh, you know, really knew about it. But then Joel kind of comes out there and really just like blows it out of the water. And oh, so that was great. Yeah. And it's, it's awesome because, you know, we get really good reviews most of the time and, and people who, uh, like you said, like, you know, food allergies and, and, you know, people who were gluten intolerant or, you know, lactose intolerant. And, um, it's, it's great. And like you said, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of, um, it feels like this really new thing cause we haven't heard about it, you know, and obviously the version we have is created through fermentation and, um, you know, it does not contain human milk, but the title alone, you know, some people might say like, ah, oh, you know, human milk, like that, that sounds yeah. weird. But like you said, I mean, it's really, you know, Mother Nature's like oldest prebiotic, if you think yeah. about it. And a lot of us have already had it. We've already taken it. So um, yeah, it's not so cool. strange and, you know, certainly a lot of benefit there. But yeah, no, thank you so much. We have a lot of gratitude for you to, uh, to towards you for having us on and, um, you know, certainly uh, purchasing from us before and, you know, look forward to hopefully uh, spreading the word about HMO and just in general, these, the foods that people need to be eating to, you uh, to improve their body. Yeah. Cause once you take it, you need to feed it. You need to, right. feed it. you know, it's not just a, this isn't just a, you know, you got to take this and it's going to fix everything. It, you really need to feed that good bacteria to make it grow and multiply. For and, sure. Uh, but then that changes your, your gut microbiome, but it changes your whole body because food is everything. It changes. It's the most powerful medicine there is. And in this day and age, we've forgotten that wellness should be the norm, not the exception. And it seems like it's the opposite now. And that just breaks my heart because yeah. I, I really want people to understand if they knew how good they could feel, it would blow their mind, you know? And I just, I don't think they understand what it's like to feel good. And I didn't certainly. And so I felt really good. And then I took this and I felt better and it shocked me because there's yeah. not too much yeah. stuff. Do you know what I mean? I just don't do that. I don't, you know, I see stuff come and go all the time. And I like how Joel puts it. It's baby talk, you know, yeah. because I just, um, but if I, if I find something that really helps me, I really want to share it with the people because, you know, what you put out is what you get back. Yeah. Well, what, what made you, what, oh, sorry. What, what made you out of curiosity as a, you know, the part of the company, I mean, what made you take the leap of faith on, on this, you know, supplement? Cause I know you said that you usually aren't, um, too keen to jump into something, but what, what made you think that this might be something worth trying? I really resonated with what Joel Green was saying in his book. I understand bacteria. I understand how it works. I understand what it does. And I know that Bifido is one of the most important ones. And it's hard to get, a lot of people take it in capsule form, which isn't always a good idea because you never know where that's going to open up in the body. Um, and I, I liked that it was, uh, even though it's a supplement, I could put it in food, that it was a prebiotic, that it wasn't, you know what I mean? It's not a probiotic, it's a prebiotic, which mm -hmm. I think that's as important as probiotic. Um, and I really preach probiotic foods over supplements. Not that I think they're, you know, bad, but I just think it's better to get it in a food source. And cause I took them and it didn't do anything and they were expensive yeah. years ago. I tried it when I took the cultured foods, it completely changed everything. And it wow. has for thousands of people I have anyway. But when I read his book and I, under, I understood some of the science and the, I'm one of the nuts that will go look at the research. Do you know what I mean? I really right. like that. I really enjoy yeah. it. And he has got pages and pages of it. And so I did some research on it and I'm like, this, this makes such sense to me. Um, and it's really hard to build the fit. Oh, and I didn't, you can feed it feeding certain things, but it doesn't seem to be very effective and you need it. And that's when I found the HMOs and that was the key. Cause I'm like, how do you make it grow more? Cause it's diminished in people as they get older a lot. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, I know it's really important, but I don't want to promote a supplement do you know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to pro pro probiotic because I don't think they work. The bifidos ones work right. very well. No, yeah. I, I just don't think they work. And so, and so when I found the HMO, that made total sense to me because that's how you get it initially when you're born. Right. You get it from your, you know, your mother's milk as oleosaccharide. And I just thought that made sense to me. It was just my brain, the way it worked. And so then I thought, well, I'm going to try it. It doesn't hurt. So I went and tried to find it. And I, I didn't like the baby formulas because he said, you could try it. You can get it as a last resort in a baby formula. But there's so much other junk in those that I didn't yeah. want them. And then there were two companies, yours and another. 
and the other one was out of stock. So I used yours. That's why, that's why I, the power of it being in stock. So I can't remember the name of the other one, um, but, uh, and I liked it. And then I, I bought a couple of bottles and my family tried it. And I noticed a difference in all of us. And uh, I was really excited because it has been a long time since I've seen, you know, I had seen a change in me because I feel pretty good almost all the time. Yeah. And I didn't feel that good until I started. And now it's really exciting to me because we went to, um, I went to Disney World the other day with my kids and I was just running all over the place and everywhere. And I thought, you know what? I mean, and I have only been to Disney World once in my whole life. And so, or Disneyland, wait a minute, which one is it? The one in California. This is world really, I don't know which one it is. Yeah, I think anyway, land, I don't know. <laughs> running all over there and I'm looking at all these people and I'm like, if they only knew, do you know what I mean? Because they looked exhausted. She was yeah. like, and I'm like, but here I am, you know, 61 years old running through Disneyland like a kid. But that's the power of feeling good is that, you know, I, I just want everybody to feel that way. It, it would just change everything. You yeah. know, you stop getting mad at everybody. You stop judging people because you feel good. You just, you just want to help them and love them because everybody has gifts. You have a gift. I have a gift. And this is your con contribution to the world. And I think it's fantastic. So hope it does really well. Yeah. Thank you. And just as a final thought, you know, it's exciting too, because, uh, you know, we're looking to roll out some uh, products with you know, different varieties of HMOs here in the future. Okay. And we, you know, we do sell a kid's powder right now, which has two varieties. It has the 2FL and then also LNNT, which uh, is lacto and neotetros. So yeah. that one has like a little bit of a different, more focused on cognitive function. Um, so the future is going to be interesting the next five years, you know, to see what's rolled out and, and how those can help as well, because we're, we're really just scratching the surface right now um, with, you know, one of the 200 varieties of HMO. So uh, it looks to be a bright future. Edge, right? Yeah, <laughs> it is. Thanks again. I'm going to put your link to your website down, but is there any other places that you could tell them where to find you or just the website or I found you on Amazon. That's where I. Okay. Yeah. So we sell everything on Amazon um, for the most part. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, the direct um, website is uh, www.layerorigin.com, you know, L-A-Y-E-R-O-R-I-G-I-N.com. And, uh, you know, we're on every social media platform. And so we, we found that people, um, uh, and I know you have a pretty, pretty great, um, YouTube channel for sure. Um, ours is a lot smaller in terms of the following, but, uh, you know, YouTube's a great platform for like discovery, you know, and long form content. So people have enjoyed, uh, you know, watching videos on our YouTube channel, which is, um, you know, layer origin nutrition. If you search that, it comes up. So, I'll put that um, in the description below so they can find you. Great. Thanks a lot. Yeah. So yeah, yeah we're very appreciative yeah, of you. Like and some of your products. I was looking at your 14 fiber one or something. It was 14. Oh yeah. 16 X uh, diverse 16. fiber. Yeah. Yeah. That looked really good. Cause I like a lot of those. Mm -hmm. um, you has a lot. I like, I didn't know, I didn't know you had all those products until you contacted me. So that's kind of exciting. And I am going to try to get those HMO powders from you to sell them to help people. So, um, you know, it's just, it's just exciting. So anyway, I appreciate you coming on. So yeah, my uh, pleasure. We'll keep in touch and uh, more power to you. I'm excited to see your new products too. That'll be great. So thanks again, Bo. I really appreciate you coming on and talking. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome.